the Fujifilm X100V. Beautiful camera. There's still a few things that I don't like about it. And it's mainly to do with the grip. It's, uh, okay, basically, you don't have a big enough bulge or hump here to hang on to. Your fingertips are just touching it. And the material that it's covered with, this plasticky sort of skin that's over the metal body, isn't very grippy at all. So you have to carry most of the weight on your little finger like this, which is unnecessary. If it had a decent grip, you could hold it properly, move your fingers around a bit, use all the buttons, uh, rather than sort of cripple yourself by uh, having to, to carry the weight of, of it all on your little finger. So that's my main beef about this. The ergonomics could have been thought through a bit better. It's all about the grip. To get around that, just for safety's sake, I've got a wrist strap. Now, when you buy these cameras, you get this neck strap with them, okay? Very few people will use them. Well, I'm repurposing it. I got my lovely wife to sew it together. I cut a piece off and make a wrist strap. So now, I have a genuine branded Fujifilm wrist strap. It's great. And with the camera, why buy an, an aftermarket one? Just uh, repurpose the neck strap you got. So that's that. The skin, I'm gonna have to do something about this plasticky skin because it doesn't provide a decent grip. I have ordered an aftermarket extended grip out here, but they come with a base plate and yeah, I'm a bit, it just makes the camera a bit bigger again. Uh, so when it turns up, I'm going to have, have to look at it and see what I can do with it to attach the grip here, maybe without the base plate at all. So I'll have to have a think about that. But the skin, I'm going to have to do really do something about that, whether it's replace it with some leather or rubber, something here on the surface that actually has some grip. As I make little ergonomic uh, changes to this thing so that I can hold it better and uh, use it a bit more comfortably, I'll show you what I'm doing as I go along. Pimping the X100V. So, let's get this party started. Hmm, also got this big box of valves here. Wonder what I could do with some of these. Hmm. So another thing I did to my uh, X100V, don't know if you call it pimping, maybe a small body mod, um, because not, not many people would see it, but it makes quite a difference to the way I can use it. The flip screen has this little notch and, and lever and the only place you can open it is down there on the bottom left corner. And I thought, well, over the years, that had put a bit of a twist stress on the same spot again and again and again. And of course you have to use a fingernail to get it. Could be a bit better. So, I put this little flap on the bottom. Easy. I made it out of a sort of a plastic film type thing. So, totally waterproof. It's not gonna rot in the rain. It's not gonna uh, wear out quickly at all. And it's black, so it blends in with the body of this one. So just this small little thing and I cut it out of a piece of plastic. It had to be thin because the screen has to close properly. So just cut it to size, a bit of black masking tape to stick it down there and a piece of cake. Anytime I want to open the back. That yeah, simple. It's much easier than, okay I've got to find that, dig it out with my fingernail. So there you go. Weatherproof, waterproof. Uh, doesn't get in the way because it's flexible, the camera can still sit, doesn't get in the way of mounting it to a tripod, anything like that. Um, you can still put a, a base plate on and things like that. Everything will work. So, there's one little body mod. One of the uh, great things about these X100s or Fujifilms in general is the different little accessories you can get for them. And these hoods, you can get different types. and. Uh, this is a vented hood, it's got a vent in it here, so when you're looking through the optical, it doesn't get in your way. 
even though it's wider than the lens. So that's a clever device. <coughs> but I ended up somehow with some spare hoods. I thought, what could I do with one of these hoods? So I came up with this. Take this one off. Put on one of my other hoods. And voila, look at that. I got it off and larger. It's just a red filter. And it just makes the thing look a bit steampunky. And it works. <laughs> if you're shooting in black and white especially. It's like a, just a red filter. So there you go. I like being able to sort of mod or pimp the, the Fuji films with my own ideas rather than just buying something off the shelf all the time. Like, you know, the soft button and um, maybe a, a strap or a, a handle that you just get from a shop. And I'm doing that as well. But I thought, what else could I do? So there you go. Bit of an idea of mine. Got off an old, bits of the old enlarger. And uh, I had the spare hood, so I stuck it on that. Okay, the next step is to do uh, the skin of the cameras. I've pulled the original skin off, stuck it on this box just for to lay it flat. I'm going to paint it. Paint it up uh, sort of dull, muted, khaki sort of colours. So let's go. I'm going to start first with a, a base of green because that is going to end up being the highlight. So quickly paint away all over the skin. I got these sample pots made up of the colours I was thinking of just at the local store. Great thing about using the original skin is I don't have to cut new skin. I know it's the exact right shape. So there's the base paint over the skin. I'll let that dry and I'll put in the second colour. Okay, so the first coat's dry, the green. Now I'm going to put some brown over it because the brown will be the main colour and the green I'm going to uh, use, as I said before, as highlights. I'll paint the brown over the whole thing. Both pieces want to be the same. Now, how am I going to get the green to show through? Well, with the brown paint still wet, I'll just give it a bit of a rub. And the green will show through a little bit on the higher points. But yeah, sort of a an earthy, dull, khaki sort of colour. I didn't want anything brash and, and in your face. So here it is, the uh, X100V in full dress kit, as I call it. Uh, including that valve that I mentioned earlier. Put a bit of brass around the bottom, mounted it on a uh, hot shoe. I've got the steampunky sort of filter thing on the front. The body's painted up, uh, the skin, and I've got my uh, little Fujifilm wrist strap. So this is full dress, all steampunky, and that's not quite how I use it on the street. I'll put the different hood on there and show you how I would actually use the thing. So here it is in its civvies. Uh, Painted body, filter, I've got the uh, wrist strap on it as well as a nice gold coloured uh, soft release button. So that's how I'm going to use my X100V, all dressed up. Hope you've liked the pimping video. But whatever you do, take your camera for a walk and have fun. See ya.